All right, it is time for this week's edition of Stu Ya Gots. Listen, listen closely. I'm on fire right now. It's the only way to put it. I told you last week I needed a 5-0 and or 4-1. and What'd I give you? A 4-1 and week last week. 4-1 and last week, 37-35 and overall. We have gone above 500 on the season and 31-19 and over my last 10 weeks on fire okay i'm gonna win you money this week as well we start in philadelphia this is the time of year where i like to take teams that have to win a football game okay they have to win a football game now both teams need to win this football game both washington and philadelphia both need to win so what i do in that case is i go with the home team and the home team in this case is the philadelphia eagles they are minus three at home against the washington redskins the redskins have one road victory the entire year i think it will stay at one i think philadelphia wins this game and they win it by seven points. Philadelphia beats Washington at home, and they get a stranglehold on that NFC East. We go to Tennessee. The Titans are playing the Texans. Again, the Texans do the game. The Titans don't. Marcus Mariota is out. I have no idea why, but the Texans are getting four and a half points. So I'm going to take the team getting points that needs to win this game, and that's the Texans. I don't like J.J. Watt. I'm tired of J.J. Watt. Get off my television. Get out of the woods. Enough with the axe already, but... I'm going to take the Texans here and hope J.J. Watt has a big game. He needs to have a big game. The Texans plus four and a half on the road at Tennessee. We go to Arizona, another game where both teams need to win this game. The Cardinals, they're fighting for, you know, positioning in the NFC. The Packers, they're doing the same. Both teams are going to be a playoff team. I've told you all year, I think the Packers are going to find themselves playing in the Super Bowl in January because Aaron Rodgers is that good. He's the best quarterback in the game. He might be the best quarterback I've ever seen. And he's getting four and a half points on the road at Arizona. I think the Cardinals actually win this game by a point, maybe a field goal, but the Packers are going to cover here. So I like the Packers plus four and a half on the road against the Arizona Cardinals. We go to Denver now, the Broncos, a game they need to win. Playing the Bengals, a game they need to win. But as I told you earlier, when both teams need to win a game, I'm going to go with the home team. So the Broncos, minus three and a half here. I don't know about A.J. McCarron. I have no idea if he's good or not. The Bengals have a talented team. The Broncos have a better defense. Maybe Peyton returns, probably not. But Brock on. I'm going to go with the Broncos, minus three and a half at home against the Cincinnati Bengals. And finally, the Atlanta Falcons, a team I told you after week three or four, I told you they'd be undefeated. I don't think they've won a game since I said that. They are plus seven at home against the Carolina Panthers. Here's the deal. This could save the Falcons' season. They're not going to make it to the playoffs, but this would be a nice way to go out in Dan Quinn's first season as head coach for the Atlanta Falcons to upset the Panthers. Now, I don't think they're going to do that. I think the Panthers will win the game. I just don't think the Panthers are going to cover the spread. So I'll take the Falcons. Plus, no one likes the Panthers anymore. No one. Everyone's turned on the Panthers. No one likes Josh Norman. No one likes the Panthers. I don't understand why. I think they're very likable. When have you ever seen a team that has personality at quarterback and monster personality on the defense with Josh Norman? But I think the Falcons play a close game here. I think Matt Ryan has a decent game, and I think the Falcons cover this. Now, I think the Panthers win. I think they win by a field goal, so that means the Falcons are going to cover as they are plus seven. Those are your picks. A Week 16 edition of Stu Gats in the NFL. Good luck, everyone, and happy holidays.